Where we're going, we won't need eyes to see. Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Culture with Pat. So today we are talking about a movie that I actually just saw for the first time, and if you guys are familiar with that infamous line, then you know the film is Event Horizon. Yes, this is the first time that I have actually seen this movie, which might be surprising to some of you guys, because I feel like this is definitely a cult classic, you know, type of film. It has a pretty, you know, solid following, especially, you know, you know, now at this point. So uh, I had heard a lot about this movie, you know, going a while back. I just never got a chance to, you know, sit down and watch it. And now it's on Netflix. So I was like, hey, like, I just keep hearing more and more things about this. I finally need to just sit down and watch it. And I'm glad I did because uh, there's a lot to like about this movie. Um, there definitely is. There was a lot of uh, issues behind the scenes with this film, which is actually kind of interesting. There's like a documentary and stuff like that online that you can watch. That's pretty cool. Um, so heads up, there will be like slight spoilers and stuff. So if you guys have not seen this movie, I definitely recommend go check it out on Netflix right now. Um, you know, if, especially if you're a sci-fi like horror fan, it's, it's pretty cool. And then come back and, you know, watch the rest of the review. So yeah, this movie came out in 1997, it's directed by Paul Anderson, which was uh, kind of funny to find out. And, um, this movie definitely has, like, if I didn't know this came out in 1997, you know, before, I could def I got those vibes of, like, a late 90s, 2000s, like, horror movie, which sometimes can be bad, but in this case, I thought was, you know, was kind of cool. Um, it just had that vibe, like, uh, 13 Ghosts, uh, Ghost Ship, stuff like that. Not saying it's similar to those movies, but just that type of, like, vibe, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, it stars Sam Neill, Lawrence Fishburne, which was pretty cool, and, you know, a uh, couple other people in the cast. Um, it's a pretty, pretty, you know, good um, star-studded cast, and everyone in there, um, at least in my opinion, was pretty likable, especially, I would say, Lawrence Fishburne is the, the biggest star for me. Um, you know, every time he's on screen, he always just has such a presence, and that's no different in this film. He, he plays basically the leader of this uh, space crew that's goes out, uh, basically they do kind of these like top secret missions and um, they bring this doctor on board who's uh, Sam Neill. They bring him on board and he tells them that, you know, seven years ago there was this ship called the Event Horizon. It ended up uh, disappearing and all of a sudden recently they got like a transmission from it. So, it, you know, it's back and they're going to go investigate it, you know, find out what happened to the crew and where the ship went because, you know, ships just don't disappear and come back, you know, seven years later. So, they go to check it out and he's like the leader of the crew and um you know you could just like definitely believe that he's type of that type of guy and um you know i thought sam neil was good too um he starts off as like you know this like nice kind of like doctored guy and uh, but as the film goes on you find out that he has his reasons but he's not so nice after all <laughs> um but yeah so basically they go out and you know they find the ship they go on board and eventually they end up finding out that this ship uh, actually went to hell and it has come back and it has come back with some freaky shit. <laughs> so there was definitely the one thing I would say about this movie is that, like I said, I had heard a lot of things about it, went into it with a decent amount of hype. Um, it definitely wasn't the scariest thing I feel like I've ever seen. There's been other movies that have creeped me out, you know, more than this did. I can see why people you know, say it is like one of the scariest movies they've ever seen. I would say because um, there's between uh, Hellraiser and Alien kind of like meshes elements of those two movies. And um, I mean, Hellraiser has some pretty disturbing stuff and, you know, so does Alien too. So I could see like why people would say it's like one of the scariest movies that they've ever seen. But yeah, so there's not really a whole lot as far as like negatives for this film. I, I could really say just to be fair to the director because of all of the behind the scenes kind of stuff that went on. Um, there is that, you know, there's a documentary on YouTube. I actually just like watched about it, which was pretty cool. And uh, the original film, it was supposed to be like over like two hours. It got, you know, obviously it got cut down. And it got rushed out into theaters uh, from what I read because of like, you know, Titanic and stuff like that. So a lot of like the ed editing and stuff like that can't really blame it, you know, on the director because it sounds like he didn't really have a lot of time. And I think overall what we got was still a pretty solid film. Um, if there was anything negative that I could like, you know, really say about it is that uh, the CGI is definitely like a little dated at times. There's 
Um, you know, some aspects where I was just like, oh man, that, yeah, that just doesn't hold up anymore. Um, it wasn't anything that really like, you know, completely took me out of, out of the film, but it was just kind of like funny, you know, a little bit at times. But I will say uh, for one of the positives of the film is the practical effects, the prosthetics and stuff like that are fantastic. Um, you know, especially towards like the end of the film. At one point, um, there's this one death with this character and he, which they don't really, this kind of goes into like the editing issues, but they don't really explain a lot in the movie until, unless you see the documentary afterwards, but basically he's afraid of, he has like this like injury to his stomach and he's afraid of um, being like ripped open basically. And he ends up dying and you see him, um, he's hanging over this table and he just has all these like fish hooks into him and he's just, his stomach's just like split open and stuff like that. And it's like, wow, that looks super realistic. And um, so just like stuff like that. And there's also a point where you see like all of these like quick flashpoints of, um, you know, different characters like in hell basically. And even though they are really quick, you could tell that all the, the makeup and stuff like that looked really, really good. So I would say, you know, if you're a fan of that kind of stuff, I think that you're really going to enjoy that with this movie. Um, like I said, you don't like some of it's like really quick. It's like, you know, f quick little scenes, um, but it's still pretty creepy. And I can see people uh, being kind of messed up after seeing that. But yeah, I mean, overall, uh, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I'm actually I'm definitely going to pick it up, you know, when it comes out on uh, Blu-ray with uh, Scream Factory, which comes out in like September, I believe. Um, I, I definitely think it's like, you know, it's worth picking up and owning. Um, it, by no means is it a perfect movie, but like I said, it it would be kind of hard to critique this movie just because of everything that kind of went on behind the scenes so I can't really blame that completely on like the director and stuff so for what it was I really enjoyed it um, I would give it a solid 8 out of 10 like I said definitely recommend you guys checking out especially if you know you're big like horror fans or like sci-fi fans and if you liked you know Hellraiser like Alien those types of films so but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the movie. Uh, I'm really curious. I mean, I've, I've heard a lot of, you know, thoughts going into it. But for those who have seen it, I want to see what your thoughts are below. So let me know down below in the comments. And uh, what is your favorite, you know, late 90s, early 2000s horror movie? Let me know down below in the comments as well. But uh, thank you guys, you know, again for checking out the video. Make sure, as always, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button next to it. Just so that way you do get notifications because YouTube is makes it very hard, especially for, uh, you know, smaller channels like mine to get noticed. So that way you do get notifications for all of my videos. And as always, guys, make sure to check back for more Pop Culture with Pat.